People keep asking me, how can you split a cryptographic key and then use that cryptographic key without actually bringing it back together again? And that's kind of an interesting uh, problem. And that's exactly what multi-party computation does. In some sense, what you do is you take the key apart. And so you split it into, you take like the number five, and then you split it into two plus three. So they kind of, then this guy holds two and this guy holds three. And then what you do is you engage in a protocol, which means you talk to each other, but at no point do you actually reveal your secret here, the number two, or your secret here, the number three, but at the end, you output the value of the function you're trying to compute. And that's what multi-party computation does. It's a advanced cryptographic technique that's been developed over the last 20 or 30 years, which allows us to essentially compute with what is essentially the encrypted data here and the encrypted data here. So someone says, what does it mean for to have a mathematical guarantee of the security of a cryptographic algorithm? Okay, so imagine we've got some encryption algorithm where um, Alice is sending a message to Bob using some algorithm. Now, we can have different methods of showing that that algorithm is secure. You could try to break it, but that's only just your effort and you might not actually be any good. Or we could get the best minds on the planet to try and break it. But again, there might be something we haven't thought of. So what we do in cryptography is we come up with a mathematical proof or a mathematical guarantee that breaking that algorithm is hard. And the way we do that is we take some well-studied mathematical problem, for example, factoring. In other words, if you give me a large number, I can't split it into its small prime factors. And we show that if you break the cryptographic system and that anybody who can break the cryptographic system should be able to break the factoring assumptions should be able to factor large numbers. So if they break the cryptographic system, they can factor large numbers. But everyone on the planet believes that factoring large numbers is hard. Therefore, the crypto system must be secure. And that kind of argument is used in all cryptographic um, algorithms these days. And it's this de facto gold standard where you, which you need before you can deploy anything in the real world. So some people ask why I got into cryptography. Well, I was a, a mathematics uh, a researcher and then I suddenly realized there was more money in cryptography. People actually care about the maths in cryptography. And if you want to do something that's going to affect the real world, you better do something like that. So basically it was fame and fortune got me into cryptography.